What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the vlog. We got Slick Rick, Junior, Monica, my sister, and Sean. It's a beautiful day. We're back down the beach, as you guys can see. And we are heading to the sandbar. This is so nice down here. We're soaking up the rays, and then we're off to the gym. Not today, but tomorrow, Sunday. And we're doing a little chest and back workout. So we'll bring you guys along for that. But thank you so much for watching this, guys. And I will see you guys at the sandbar. protein shake and it was like really stuck going down there but whatever what is up guys we are just got back from the sandbar of course it was beautiful out there hope you guys enjoyed that edit we set up everything we we're swimming around having a good time and of course with all beach weather huge thunderstorms came flying in out of nowhere so we packed up the boat and booked it on in and now we're here so I'm just relaxing a little bit of course it got real nice out again but I figured there's another storm coming I'm not too short this beach weather is literally it's crazy it's bipolar is anything but like I said, today's my off day, so I've just been enjoying time with family and friends. It's been so nice, but tomorrow we're back after it, back in the gym with a push-pull workout. And I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't done a push-pull workout in forever. I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest with you guys. So let me know if you guys like them. Let me know your thoughts on push-pull workouts. I know some people are all about them. Some people don't like them. Honestly, my personal preferences are just training one muscle group a day. I mean, don't call it boring, but like chest Mondays, back Tuesdays, I like to stick with that. That's my regimen for sure. But we have five guys working out with us tomorrow, so I figured just doing this, a push-pull day, back, chest, superset, must, you know, would be the most efficient way to train, especially to get the best workout for this big of a group of people, get the best bang for a buck. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna bring you guys along, we're gonna make a nice commentary for you guys with this as well. So stay tuned, and I will see you guys at the gym first thing tomorrow morning. What is up, my YouTube fan? Welcome to today's push-pull commentary. So we started off with a superset here, Starting with the incline barbell press. We did five sets of eight to 12 reps. Kept it a little heavier today with this first part. Love this exercise, guys. If you guys are looking to add some serious size to your chest, definitely give the incline bench press a whirl. It's an awesome exercise. and It's definitely something I'm going to be doing more as I have to increase the upper part of my chest. So we supersetted this with flat bench dumbbell flies. Same thing, guys. We went a little lighter with this just because the first part of the superset with the incline barbell press was heavier. So we did five sets here of 15 20 reps. Really focus on getting a good stretch, guys, as you guys come down with your dumbbells right here. Get a good stretch. Right back up and squeeze and focus on contracting your chest as you guys come up there. So now we superset to this, the second portion right here, with the machine rows, which you guys are seeing, with an underhand grip. The reason why I'm doing underhand grip here instead of the neutral grip is I want to focus on putting some width on my back. So this is the way to do it, guys. Whether it's the rows like you're seeing here, barbell rows, or even pull downs with a straight bar. The underhand grip will definitely help it with the width of your back, so keep that in mind if you guys are trying to focus on that for your back workout. So following this, we supersetted that with another set of machine rows here, but we have a neutral grip now. So with this, guys, we went a little bit lighter, like with the dumbbell flies, and we did five sets of 15 to 20 reps. Really focus on the contraction as I was pulling the bars towards my chest and squeezing my lats to the fullest. So following this, we did a superset of chest and back together, starting with the machine chest press, which you guys are seeing now. Um, lower the bench all the way to the lowest part, so we're really focusing on my upper chest as well. Like I said, that is a weak point of mine. So having that bench all the way lowered can really, you know, focus and bring all the contraction to that upper pec. So that's what we did today. Same thing, guys. Five sets, 15 to 20 reps, and then we went over to the pull downs with a V bar, and same thing. Five sets of 15 to 20 reps. Kept the volume a little bit higher, and that towards the end of our workout here today. But guys, thank you so much for watching this. 
Well, push pull commentary. I actually really enjoyed it. I know I said I wasn't a big fan going into this, but it was a great workout and I had an awesome pump. So thank you so much for watching this, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Workout is in the books, guys. And I'm not gonna lie, it was actually a really good workout. I know I was saying I was hating on push pull days before, literally right before we got to the gym, but it was an awesome workout. So Maybe I have a newfound love for push pull day. I'm not too sure, but I'm definitely gonna start incorporating a little bit more in the future. Um, literally did three exercises for chest, supersetting with three exercises for back, all five sets each. But you guys just saw that in the commentary, so I'm just blabbering on right now. But the full workout is in the description below, so be sure to give that a try and let me know what you guys think. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe picked up some new training techniques and exercises that you guys can do for your next workouts. Hope you're sure to like. Subscribe and I will catch you guys soon. I don't wanna know.